According to Einstein's theory, a mass curves space-time around it. A good analogy for space-time curvature is trampoline example. But it always misleads people thinking space-time curvature is just space curvature. When you put heavy mass on a trampoline, it curves the fabric because of downward pull of gravity on mass. When you roll a small mass on trampoline, it doesn't directly fall onto the ground because of resistance of trampoline. So, it moves to a point where it has a less gravitation potential energy. Here, because of inertia of motion, the mass rolls away from the mass, larger mass, and starts to decelerate and turn back towards a ma larger mass. If there were no friction between the smaller mass and the fabric, it continues to take path of ellipse and never stops. Here you can say that the uh, here you can say that the larger mass has covered the space because of downward pull of gravity, but not on its own. But according to Einstein's theory, mass curves space-time, but not space. So what does it mean by space-time curvature? To explain this, I'll give you an example. Assume a mass A comparable to the size of Earth, all alone in space. Let its initial velocity be V from a point X. Because there is no other mass nearby that can affect its path, its path will be straight line in the space. Here you cannot tell the difference between space and space time because there is no change in direction with respect to time. Let us assume it reached a point B or point Y in time T1. Now assume a mass B comparable to the size of Sun appeared all of, a, all of a sudden at a point Z that is in straight line path of mass A. From this point, according to Einstein's theory, the path of A is no more linear but a curve. As it approaches towards the mass B, the mass A starts to slightly deviate from its original path, that's a straight line path, as time passes. We, we assume a straight line collision path but it doesn't collide. Here we can predict three paths of mass A. Mass A might spiral around mass B and collide with mass B. Mass A might revolve around mass B. Mass A takes a curved path as it approaches mass B and fly away. Because we assume size of Earth and Sun, I'm predicting a path where mass A revolves mass B. But at the end, it all depends on the velocity of mass A. Here, we can observe that there is no bending of space, but still the mass A took a path that is curved with respect to time. So, we call it curvature of space-time, but, but it doesn't mean the space is curved. It's a path of the body revolving around that is curved. So, why does the mass A take a path of curve while we assume it takes a straight line path? To explain this, we need to understand what is the cause of gravity. So, in my next video, I'll introduce to a new theory called mass force and charge force theory, which explains what causes gravity.